Can you believe it has been over five and a half years since Return to Nukem High Volume 1 came out on Blu-ray? That is a long time to wait for Volume 2. So the other day I was looking around online to see if Volume 2 actually had some sort of physical media release date, because I know it's been playing festivals and I know it's been available on Troma now, but I really wanted to see the Blu-ray and all the special features, and it turns out it was released last Tuesday. I had no idea. So I contacted the good people over at Troma, and they were able to send me over this copy, which we are going to be checking out today. First up, I just want to show you both covers side by side, Volume 1 and Volume 2. I believe the original artwork for Volume 1 was done by Rick Melton, and I believe the poster for Volume 2 was originally supposed to be the poster for Return to Nukem High when it was just one movie, before it was broken into Volume 1 and Volume 2, and was done by... Justin Osborne? Jason Osborne? I know it's dumb. Osborne is his last name. So, two very distinctive, individualistic posters that beautifully represent each movie. Let's give you a look at this one really quick so you can see all the nice little details that they crammed into it. Also, Lloyd Kaufman was nice enough to autograph that one for me as well. And then all the stuff on the back. And now there are special features listed on here, but there's only a few listed. I pop this in and this thing is loaded with special features. It's a two disc set and disc one has got an intro by Lloyd Kaufman. It's got trailers. It's got a full trailer for Shakespeare's Shitstorm, his next movie. It's got a thank you for everyone who contributed to the Kickstarter campaign. It's got short films on there, Mr. Trips, Merry Christmas to My Wife's Butt, Radiation March, and it's got some ads for Troma Now. And then on disc two, you've got Two Girls, One Duck, the full-length making of documentary of volume one and volume two. Then you've got some behind the scenes things, make your own damn shower scene, uh, make your own damn green screen in a Bentley. You can check out Tromo when they were honored at the Museum of Modern Art. From Festival to Fascism, Cannes 2017, and tributes to Stan Lee, Lemmy, and Joe Fleshaker. And then cracking the case open, you have got disc one, which features the film over on the left, and then disc two, which features the documentary and more special features over on the right. So there we go, volume one and volume two. The complete Return to Nukem High Sega is now available on Blu-ray. And something I don't even know if I've mentioned, Back in 2012, when they were shooting in my area, they shot most of this in Niagara Falls. I live about 40 minutes away from Niagara Falls, New York. So I was actually an extra in this movie for about, I want to say, roughly two weeks. When I found out that Lloyd Coffin was doing a Class of Nukem High sequel here, I knew I had to be a part of it. You know, there wasn't any pay involved. It was just going there, having fun. And a few of the days I was there during rehearsals, I even shot this little onset diary of, you know, just kind of my days as an actor person in a trauma movie. I had it up on my YouTube at one point. I'm honestly not sure if I've still got like the compilation of footage there, but if I still have it somewhere, maybe I'll do a compilation of that one day. Let you see what I saw while I was uh, quote unquote working on this movie. But that seems so long ago. Like I said, that was summer of 2012 and it we are rounding out the end of 2019 now. That was seven and a half years ago, I can't believe it. And I totally forgot, they also sent me this I Heart Tromaville High School sticker. You can grab that on their website, so that was really nice of them too. But anyways, that is going to wrap up today's quick unboxing. I hope you've enjoyed it, and if you're feeling like being generous, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this, and if you've got any questions, be sure to ask them down in the comments below, and I'll do my best to try and answer them for you.